hello welcome to this video this video is on association rule analysis so previous video uh, I have explained about concept of uh, association rules so in this video uh, we are going to analyze a rules that is association rules using R studio so before going to the analysis uh, we have to install two packages called a rules and a rules Wiz. I have already installed these two packages so I'm straight away going with library by opening the packages so to open the package we have to type library a rules and run the command and similarly you can I mean like run the command and also you can run the library a rules with so these two commands are uh, executed and I have imported the data set called cosmic okay and uh, you can also have a look at that and this is the data set which we are dealing with you can also view that and this data set actually consists of cosmetic items okay and if you just see this uh, data set carefully this first column consists of transactions and it has total thousand transactions so wherever it is written as one that means this particular transaction has consist of this particular item so these all items consist of cosmetics so as you can look here bag blush nail polish uh, mascara foundation eyeliner so wherever there is a one that means in that particular transaction row that items is purchased where there is a zero that means that item was not purchased so after going through that data first thing which what we have to do we have to convert that data into matrix so that is what i'm going to do here i'm going to name the data set as matrix cosmetic and as dot matrix and inside the bracket i'm going to bring that data set name cosmic and I'm trying to delete the first column if you could able to go back and check the first column is transaction I don't want matrix of transaction I just want matrix of items so that is the reason why I have uh, typed the commands like this and I'm running it so now my matrix is ready and after converting into matrix we have to convert this data into transactions I mean transaction format so I'm naming it as transaction cosmetics as uh, the matrix cosmetics which you have already converted comma uh, transactions and this is the, the way you convert the matrix into transactions and I am running this command and now your transactional data set is stored in this uh, name called transaction cosmetics okay right now you can start uh, creating the rules so first rule rule 1 a priori I'm um, giving the name as rule one a priori uh, the name of the data set is transaction cosmetics that is what is entered here and comma parameter is equal to list and as we discussed in the previous video there are three measures for association rules one is support confidence and lift so we'll just first check with support and confidence So I'm running this and I got the results and to identify the results we have to use the command called inspect so I'm writing the command inspect head rule 1 comma 5 which will give me the top 5 rules of support and confidence and I have given support of 5% and confidence of 0 0.05 that is 50% right so I'm going to inspect that based on those criteria and I could able to see the major uh, support is for foundation and when brushes are purchased nail polish is purchased with confidence of one with support of uh, I mean we have given 0 0.5 5% 0 0.0 I mean like 5% so it is like 14% it shows and when those who purchase nail polish also purchases brush and brushes to bronzes and brushes to mascara these are the count you can <coughs> you can also cross check uh, with uh, inspect by lift because we have seen only with support and confidence so for lift we have to ins we have to type the command inspect head sort rule one by lift whichever is the highest lift because that is the uh, our actual measure based on lift only we can take the decision so I'm writing this command and enter and I'm just expanding this so based on the lift value 
uh, which we have given this is on the highest lift uh, highest I told you lift actually works like a correlation if your lift value is above 1 then that means there is a high correlation that if item LHS and RHS that LHS purchase definitely RHS will purchase will be purchased that is the meaning of lift we saw in the concept video now look at here LHS is your antecedent and RHS is your consequent when nail polish bronzer and like lip liner is purchased precious or also purchased with support of 5% and uh, highest lift value we can just expand and check it we can check here the lift value lift count is the highest one okay this is the lift value which is like uh, highest one point five point eight seven two four so as we know that lift value if the lift value is above one that means uh, when nail polish bronzers lip liners are purchased there is a high chance that brushes will also be purchased and you can see the next one which is like 5.49 when nail polish bronzer eyeliner are purchased brushes, brushes are purchased uh, in the first transaction it showed lip liner here it is a line eyeliner and then third transaction says nail polish concealer bronzer when these three items are purchased brushes is high likely to be purchased so that is how we have to calculate the uh, lift and check the results and there are other ways to look at this uh, analysis we can also plot and check this just you need to type plot rule one and uh, here is the image and how to read this image we just expand it so you can see here this y-axis is confidence x-axis is your support and the darker the um, dots the darker the lift higher the lift so you can see here with the low number of support with uh, above 60 percentage of confidence there are a lot of dark dots here that means uh, these are the parts where you have or the items where you have high lift you can also check uh, the plot by using I mean by using the group function I am just typing the plot rule 1 method is equal to group so you can view that in a group wise as well so I am just expanding this and uh, <coughs> as we were trying to work with that so rule one I just need to zoom out for the clear uh, visualization of plot so we have run this and when we try to run uh, rule one with group image so I'm just rerunning it so the image looks like this you click on zoom button and this is uh, the original image you just need to expand and if you just expand and just move it it will be uh, so like this we have to expand and cross check so here how to interpret this uh, plot uh, like your LHS when these uh, 11 items are there line polish and mascara and you can cross check with the uh, details about what are the items purchased and what is likely to be purchased in the RHS so it shows uh, I mean we have to look at the darker values the darker values has high um, lift one and the larger circle means having a high support the bubble is bigger in size that means it has a bigger support wherein if it is darker the more the darker it is the greater lift it has so that is the method to interpret the results of association rules